We are more than careers. We are We are more than careers. Hey, Sarah. Eric, how's it How going? How are you? How are you doing so today? So good, and I'm really excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Who are we bringing to the table? We are bringing, I'm not going to do it justice, but we are bringing the lovely, the talented, the artistic, the creative, Marcy Bishop. <laughs> Artistic. Mm -hmm. She's an artist at heart, yes. but she has so much more to her mm -hmm. than what maybe meets the eye. Man, and guess what? what? She's going to be painting you she while is. we're interviewing her. She's going to be painting my so, face. Y'all got to get the before, and we get the after. Yeah. But again, we are more, more than, than just careers. Hey, everybody. Hello. Like we said, we got our Marcy. She's looking like our a Our Marcy. Look, I like that shirt. She's perfect. Who are you channeling, you said? Marcos. Uh, Always. <laughs> With the afro, you I so cool. I should have brought it in. No, you have so an afro. Yes. I went to Bob Ross for yeah. Halloween. Oh, wow. Yeah, I seen yeah. that picture. She had the mustache. <laughs> the white fur. It was. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, from the afro. It was, it was a sight. <laughs> that was a side for sure. Yeah, but we're so excited to have yes. you on this platform. We are more than just careers. And one thing that we try to do is just bring in our staff and just for people to know them outside of resume cover letters and all of those good things. And you, on the other hand, oh my God, paint the picture. You remember yeah. when we said that? Paint it was picture. like paint the picture yep. of your story, paint oh. the picture of. Sarah, hey, Sarah. <laughs> I'm gonna be model today. Right, right. So what you gonna do? Because uh, in this session, while she's talking, she's going to be painting, so you can see the results. Multitasking at its finest. Oh my yes. god, it's what we do best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what you? No pressure. <laughs> so I like to improvise. Whenever I do face painting, you know, um, I, I like to listen to the client. Like, mm -hmm. you know, ask them like, what are you? vision yeah and normally i'll just look it up on social media okay. <laughs> so who are the accounts to follow on social media um the one that i'm following right now is pro face painting and they have five thousand followers and they're out of la so they do like a lot of like big, big events for celebrities yeah. and so i like following Ooh. them and you know looking at what they do and okay. who they're painting so awesome. Well, cool. I'm very excited. Me no, too. I, no, no, go ahead. No, 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 no,
um, like interacting with kids and uh, so so yeah but I dabble on all sorts of mediums um, so face paint being one of those but I do like a lot of acrylic works a lot of like sculpture oh. um, so with my acrylic pieces it's I call it like a painting sculpture because I let the, the piece dry, like mm. the, the paint dry, and then I can like manipulate it and make it into a sculpture. Mm. Um, and so that's really fun. And I just like to experiment, you know. That's so cool. That's a creative mind. Yes. Mm. Artists love to experiment mm. with like any kind Good. of material. So when did you first discover that you was like an artist? And it's like, oh man, this is something. Different. This is different than my peers because I used to paint, but it wasn't like. Can you paint outside the lines? Outside the lines. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, it's not something that I like call my. And I, you know, like a lot of artists will say no. Like I'm, you know, they don't. They're like kind of shy. Right. About it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. But. But when I first started, I think my friend was like really into art at the time, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I think I was in like fifth or sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I was like kind of trying to copy her a little mm -hmm. bit because it was really cool and then like I was, you know, ex experimenting like trying, you know, new things and like interests and hobbies and mm -hmm. um and so I was like, yeah, okay, like, you know, um, I'll take all these art classes and like that's when I was really like involved in like art club on, on um, in my high school. Mm -hmm. I was named most artistic, okay. y'all. Oh. I'm going to flaunt that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still the case today in this there office. Is. And wow. it's still alive today. <laughs> yeah. Look at you go. <laughs> Live it up to oh. it. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, I mean, I've been really involved, like my art club in high school, we went to Europe and yeah. um, we did like, you know, the whole um, tour of all of the museums yeah. and everything. And so that was like really fun for me. Um, and so I was doing art in high school and then I um, started community college after I graduated. Um, and was still doing art, and then I transferred to my undergrad, University of North Carolina, Pembroke, where I majored in art education. Because yeah. my parents were like, real like, oh, you're not just gonna, you know, be like a starving artist, which is a, <laughs> a huge myth, by the way. Um, because like the arts, it's just so rich with different opportunities that you would like never like think about. Yeah. So what did you think with the art education degree, what did you think you were going to do? So what do you think the possibilities were? Um, initially, I thought it was just, no, you know, like, teach at a public school. Um, or, yeah, that's pretty much all I thought that I was going to be doing with that. Mm -hmm. um, and while I was getting my degree, I started working at Painting with a Choice, like, Painting with a Choice mm -hmm. here, but it's called Wine and Design where I yeah. worked at. And that was, like, one of the first places to do that it was like in 2013 mm -hmm. or something like 2012 like on the forefront look at you and That's so true. that was like I could use my education background in that um and it was something I really enjoyed uh and I liked being in front of people I liked instructing people who had never painted before or maybe felt a little like self-conscious about it yeah. um and also the wine did not hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> so that it was does. really fun um because they'd be like do you want some wine like, yeah. <laughs> don't have to ask me twice of course. <laughs> um so i gained a lot of experience mm -hmm. there um and you know painting on the spot can be like intimidating and yeah. scary and so i learned a lot from that that's so cool um, but yeah, that's but I wanna, places I but I, I want to point out that sometimes our gifts, well, a lot of times our gifts make room for us to do things. Mm -hmm. Like you said, once you became interested in uh, painting, you kind of evolved and then you were traveling abroad yeah. and then, then you became uh, interested in painting with the twist yes. with a little bit of wine and, mm -hmm. and then you, you learn how or had a liking to instructing people and getting in front of them. So it's like, you know, because you were interested in your friend and what she was doing as far as painting, it 
basically opened the doors up for you to experience different things that you probably never would expect. Right, right. Yeah, and I would say, you know, take any opportunity that you can, mm-hmm. even though it may not be related to yeah. something yeah. you're interested yeah. in like that. Yeah. But you never know how that will transfer into another area, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because I never thought, like, painting, face painting at 15 to now I'm 31 and I'm face, face painting right here in front of y'all. Yeah. yeah. And doing uh, it for our career. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, thinking. you're incorporating it. I would have never work. thought it. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't think you'd be uh, at the UNT Career yeah. Center being a career coach and <laughs> painting student. <laughs> I <laughs> never once uh, would have thought that, but um, I'm really happy that I can do that and contribute and like use it again. Yeah, because you know? I doing it now, I'm like, oh, this is fun. Like I can do this. Yeah. Like, you know, like a little side thing. So you never know, like what that's gonna, you know, bring. So. Yeah, it brought a lot to the career fair. Yes. Your mind was long. Everyone wanted oh, to be. And I was so surprised. <laughs> your like, mind was long. Like, y'all, don't you have class or something? <laughs> they were like, oh, I want my, I want a Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm like, uh, okay, sure. Yeah. I remember when I went over there, I tried to help her. And Joe was like, <laughs> was, I was like, hey, what do you want? And I was doing this. I was like, I had the whole mechanism, like, oh, so tell me what you want, explain. He's like, uh, I kind of want to wait on her. <laughs> I'm the professional. I don't want to uh, go to. Like, no offense. Imagine that. Like, I'm trying. <laughs> He's like, no, oh. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Oh. So that's so cool, yeah. Marcy, though. What do you, so thinking back to when you were going to decide on a degree, what do you, th- what do you wish you would have known then that you do now? I... Uh, probably would not change anything. Um, My mother was the one who urged me to get that education certification because the starving artist thing. Mm -hmm. Like if you are certified, they automatically think like, oh, you know, like you could be a teacher. That's like gonna be your your plan B or whatever. And so, um, yeah, like, like just getting the degree in education, I think just really set me up for my background and being able to lecture and to mm-hmm. teach and also in this position where you're in front of people and you're doing all these workshops and planning and yeah. like, you know, and I think for me, like once I started student teaching was when I was like, oh, like I don't know if I like this. <laughs> so I applied to UNT um, and I got mm-hmm. in and I was really fortunate because I got to work um, with all the cool people in the drawing department and mm-hmm. I was the assistant there for a year and then I eventually started teaching design and drawing and wow. um, and that is really when I was like this is what I want to do because I came into grad school like oh I just you know I want to make artwork um, and I just you know want to explore but I never really had like any idea of like what I want to do for my career. Yeah. And so that really helped me. Um, and I just really like higher ed. I like the students and being able to, you know, do what I want and, you know, and how I want to teach. And, um, and I still talk to some of my past students and it's just been like really fun. And, you know, um, I've had a, a really great, you know, career so far and I love it. So, yeah. And more to come. Right. Yes. What's, what's next for you, if I may ask? Like, well, what's next for me? Um, well, I'm kind of taking it, you know, in strides because I do have a six month old. Ooh. So yeah. I'm just kind of focusing on her right now, but I really do want to get like into the studio a little mm. bit more and like start making some more art to show um, and some open calls. I mean, DFW is just so rich for like the arts and for showing and um, and so I want to be a part of that. Like, yeah. and that's a, that's the continuing thing about being an artist is that you have to show, you have to keep, you know, making appearances yeah. and networking. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and so I, I really want to get into that, back into that. So do you have space at home where you can create? I do. 
have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> your whole garage, your space. Your I have a, yeah, if I want to get really messy, then yes, my garage is it. But I do have a second floor, which is my my workspace. That's my, and I don't really want to get that too dirty, but I can work up there and I can do like small scale, you know, pieces. Um, so, yeah, I have a little space. Yeah, um, a little something. A little something. <laughs> well, let me ask you this question. Okay. Since we paint, what picture would you paint that represents your past Ooh. life? My past life? Uh, from zero to right now, what picture mm. would you paint that represents that? That's a tough question. Oh, oh you got some. Because <laughs> then I'm going to the future. What picture would you paint that represents Future. Oh, okay. So that's the better question. Past yeah. life. Yeah. I gotta think about that. Okay, for a we can come back. We can come back. Because there's just so many, like, you know, paintings out there, and mm-hmm. I can reference. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. We'll come back. Mm-hmm. What, what medium is your favorite? I do like acrylic. Mm-hmm. And I like sculpture too. Um, Whenever I was in grad school, I would do these like models of my hand and I would fill it with like plaster paris. So at the end, the mold will make the hand, it'll come out. And I used to attach like fake nails and like put bling on it. Yeah. Because like, I like getting my nails done. And I also really connect to like this whole like, uh, like the beauty industry and like the facade of that and like commercialism and keeping appearances and fashion also like everything kind of just plays on that um but yeah they're like little plaster hands they're in my studio oh, actually, you I, still should have bring, I should bring one to work um you need to display that and it's got oh. these like little Swarovski crystals on the nails and like you know it's, it. I think they're pretty cool and I want to investigate that a little bit more because yeah. more than ever like I'm so interested in nail art mm. <laughs> that's yeah, that opens up a lot of other. There's so many more opportunities with this kind of talent than I think people think when you think of art or artist or artistry. Yes, and I've done. So I was a um, a studio tech at Billings Productions, which is a dinosaur. I call it a dinosaur factory because we literally made like animatronic dinosaurs. And um, I was like assistant to the lead sculptor, and like we would make all of these like tactile, like except like um, installations mm-hmm. for you know kids who want that you know to wow. feel around. Um, and so I did that for a little bit. And um, what was really cool about that job was that it was also traveling. Um, mm-hmm. And so they sent me to Japan. I got to take down the show there. And I got to go to California. And so that was like my corporate, you know, engagement. Yeah. And that was like my little time for, with them. Um, but it was really cool. Like, I mm-hmm. loved that job. And I, and I could see, like, you know, how some of my past experiences kind of molded into that job. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was just really fun. How did you come across that opportunity? Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know like think about Craigslist anymore no. um but I do <laughs> <laughs> did you and, find that opportunity yeah and I'm yeah. always looking for like all of these little like niche you know um yeah. like job search places that you normally wouldn't mm-hmm. think of right. so yeah I found it on Craigslist, Craigslist and I interviewed and I got it and so um so yeah, I was working with them for a while and I, I got to like put feathers on these creatures wow. and like they would move. So you constantly had to like repair any cosmetic mm-hmm. issues, like their skin would rip. Mm-hmm. They, they would send me to Pennsylvania for two days to go ahead and like, you know, fix the skin and then mm-hmm. they would come back home. Like, it was really fun. Yeah, and, so cool. and I mean, you go into these museums or places and never would have thought okay who does this mm-hmm. who puts these together mm-hmm. yeah they had one at i think it was what is that um i think it's the moody i don't know it's here in like it's here in texas um but yeah they had an exhibition there so more local that's cool yeah 
So you said that you are a mother of a six month old. I can't believe she's already six months. <laughs> How is it being a mother? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, you know, I mean, it's challenging, not her, that she is not yeah. the challenging yeah. part. It's the balance mm-hmm. of everything. Yeah. Because I do, I want to keep continuing and building my career in the arts, mm-hmm. but there's so many like supplementary things, you know, like yeah. full time, I'm yeah. here all day. Right. But when I go home, mm-hmm. I can't just like make art, you know, right. like I'm going to hang out with my baby. Right. So and you also teach courses. I teach magicians. art appreciation. Yeah. Yes. And that is something I love to do because I love like being that first person to introduce, um, you know, people who may not like art or it may not be their major, or maybe this is like their first time having that experience. That's really, That's really fun for me because I could be, you know, that person that inspires them mm-hmm. or to be an artist or to go to art school yeah. or, you know. So, so yeah, I, I like teaching and just being involved and having a good old time, you know. So how do you take care of yourself with all of this going on? Um, I drink a lot of coffee, which is not <laughs> self-care. <laughs> And I like shopping. <laughs> and I also like social media, which is also not self care, but those are all things that I like. So yeah. I um, loved your TikTok videos though. When I first came on, I seen that TikTok videos. I was like, I need to go watch this those. Lady. Uh, then I was like, Oh, she went on maternity leave. I was like, I need to be <laughs> And she yes. came back. She had she was like, So what is <laughs> I was like, okay, it was that's really a lot fun of because I got I to it. act. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, I don't really like yeah. you know act, yeah. but it was like fun. It was to play something it different. Yeah, it was so cool. explore another side of yourself, right? Which seems like a lot of like the creativity and artistry you get to explore, and then we talked exactly. about you get to explore so many different side of yourself and there's always it's always changing and yes always, you know more to more to look into more to see more to learn exactly always evolving and changing but for the better yeah you know? so what is something that you do for yourself to relax and to decompress and I mean, if you do like to relax, <laughs> I don't relax actually. I'm okay. go, go, go. Yeah, um, but no, I really like watching mindless TV. I love that. <laughs> it's a reality TV, like, like so 90 Day Fiance. Oh, yeah, 90 day. <laughs> I That's love <laughs> 90 Day Fiance so much because I like seeing um, Americans like go to different countries mm. that they're not accustomed to and thinking that. Oh, I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna mm-hmm. marry this person. It's just so funny watching them. Like, oh my god, the realization. <laughs> <laughs> no hot water. <laughs> yes, it's. I love it. Um, and so that's your people, thing. Yes, not a lot of people would admit that, but I don't care. Oh, like, I love some reality. <laughs> Loved. I love trash reality. Love it. Yeah. Jersey Shore. Oh, oh man. Oh. What, what's the? I miss that boogie? show. I'll remember her. Pookie. Snooky. Pookie and Snooky. Basically the same thing. And then the guy with the old, the slick stir, the the, uh, the slick back. What's his name? Uh, Big Ed. Big Ed? What is Big Ed? I don't don't remember. Oh, oh no, so um, I'm um, Holy D. Holy D. Holy D. Holy D. Holy D. Yeah. I was thinking about nine I, was, I, was, I don't know that person, but no, no, I guess, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no. it's not part of Jersey Shore. I, I'm getting my reality show mixed up. <laughs> They're just so good, though. <laughs> but yeah, but that's what you do. Holly D actually um, performs a lot in BFW. Oh, and, yeah. I've been wanting to see one of the shows just so oh, I can be like, just he can say, yeah, DJ, DJ Holly D, DJ Holly D. Thanks, thanks. That's another thing I like too. You know, the this music. You like EDM? Yes, oh. I do like EDM. I Are like you good to the concerts. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, the last one I went to was before the pandemic. So, mm-hmm. um, but that was I, that was a Tame Impala. Um, concert and that was really fun. Awesome. Um, also pre baby. 
Yeah, it's also free <laughs> Uh So, yeah. <laughs> so, how do you, with all this going on, how do you set boundaries for yourself? Because it's really easy to we want to do everything and every, anything. And you care, I can tell you care about everything that you do in your life. So, how do you do that? I set boundaries by um just saying i'm not going to do something on this day or just like reserving a day just where i'm just we're just going out to eat we're just relaxing we're just doing this and that and um deleting you know my outlook um or turning it off for the day so that i'm not constantly looking because i always Again, like I'm a busybody and I'll always be like looking at stuff mm-hmm. or like trying to fix something or solve yeah. something or solve someone's problems. Like mm-hmm. so that's that's one way um I set boundaries. Easier said than done. Yeah. It's really, it's really hard. Um, it's very hard. So how do you charge how do you recharge your battery? Um like how do you Get the energy. Get that energy back. Like. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> I haven't t- yeah, I haven't been on vacation a long time, yeah. so that's you know that's in the works. But um, but yeah, I'd love to go on vacation. I love to like hang out with my friends. I've had a lot of visitors this yeah. um this summer, and just like being with them and like feeling their energy like people I've, i haven't seen in a long time or like before the pandemic and yeah. um for them to come out of town to visit me is like yeah. recharging for me because yeah. i get to show them the town and yeah. like they get to see the baby and then yeah. Yeah. you know it's it's really fun like um for example i went to the dallas art fair this weekend yeah. with my friend and you know like and she lives in dallas and she's never been to mm. like the dallas art fair before and i've never been to the dallas art fair before either so it was like our first experience but i think she had like a good time and she was inspired after mm. and so for me i'm like okay like i like sparking that the yeah. inspiration um and just you know seeing where that goes because you could literally make anything yeah. Like, yeah. You can make anything. We saw a lot of anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really, anybody, you know, can make artwork. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. What is one of the most unique things you saw there? So, there is this um, piece by William. I don't know his last name. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. But, yeah, I follow him on social media. Mm-hmm. And he makes, like, these really large paintings with uh, unicorns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's a cowboy that's like riding the unicorn, so it's kind of like a play on like rodeo meets unicorn, and like it's just yeah, it's just like a play on you know like something so manly, and, yeah, uh, you know like yeah. Texan, I guess, and yeah, yeah. cowboy yeah. that kind of thing. But then you have this like pink unicorn in the clouds, yeah. so I like the play on that, you know, yeah. feminine masculine so that was for me i was so starstruck i was like oh my god <laughs> you're a real person <laughs> I want this baby. and then i saw one that sold for like twenty five thousand dollars, and i was like okay this is just you know is it for me to get it back out there yes. Yes. yeah and get that inspiration yeah yes. it could be a lucrative job or yeah lucrative, it uh, could be because mm-hmm. i, I Ain't it something like you can pay for digital paintings or something like yeah, that? Yeah, there's like NFTs mm-hmm. or ETFs now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the big thing. That's but like it's crazy. really just saying like, oh, you own this painting mm-hmm. digitally, mm-hmm. but not like physically. physically. Right. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's different. I mean, it's something to explore and like research for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe that might be the next, the next big thing. thing for me. So does anyone else in your family have a creative side? Um, no. No. (laughs) (laughs) No. um, Like, my cousin has reached out a few times um, because he started painting. Mm -hmm. And he wanted my opinion, you know, on some of his paintings. And I was like, oh, sure. Like, I can give you some ideas. um, But that's probably the extent. Like, yeah. So it doesn't run in the family, but you're paving the way. Yes. For other family members. Paving the way. Yeah. But one thing that I really 
you fired was that you might want to get back to. I'm sorry. I don't want to put more on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> but I like when you set up those those like meetups yes. for the office. Mm-hmm. Like I used to the burger joint. Yeah. You remember I was like, hey, I gotta go back to L I think it's LSG. LSA. Burger. LSA burger. <laughs> Oh, but because of you, you spoke, you exposed me to that burger, yeah. that juicy burger, mm-hmm. that nice, ooh, I yeah. dream about oh, that brisket fries, the brisket cheese. fries. I got to right now. We're gonna have to go right out. Oh my god! My mouth is watering. Oh my god! So you got to get back to planning those all Yes. Things. And one of the things you were gonna plan too was a painting opportunity ooh. for yeah. the, the office. So yes. you're incorporating some of the things that you love into. That's so cool. Another area that you also yes. really enjoy yes your life. yes i love that and i love you know trying new foods i love restaurants foods <laughs> snacks <laughs> meals um, yeah you always be like hey i gotta have lunch you be like boom everything go. shut down the lights is off i was like oh yeah she had lunch gotta go <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes, that, but there's something to be said for food. That is a priority. When she put her last song, you know where she's going. Yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> well, on that note, my arm actually just went up. <laughs> I don't want to pause it. We probably have a few more minutes, but I have maybe one or two questions left for you. Uh, and I don't know if you've got any other ones. Just my final one I want to come back to, but okay. I got a spin on it though. Oh, oh okay, okay. Ooh. All right, well, my question's not going to be that good. No, okay. uh, what is one of the best pieces of advice that you've been given? Well, or heard. I think, so I was watching this um, documentary on a journalist, um, Forget his name. Like he was really well known, and they had this section in that that documentary where Barbara Streisand was there, and she was like, you know, fear is the energy of your best work. And sometimes for me, like I just get like real, like real bad anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, like that's the energy, that's yeah. the fear. But I'm still doing a really great job. You yeah. just have to like reassure yourself, mm-hmm. you know, and. So for me, that advice was like, I mean, not that she was giving it to me personally, but I just was like, took it personally. And I really thought about that. And I was like, you know, that makes sense. So if you're, whether you're like fearful or not, like you should just do it, you know, and do it to the best of your ability, of course. But yeah. Absolutely. Now that's obviously stuck with you to this day. So it made an impact. Yeah. All right, Eric, what you got? I'm trying to see if she finished the painting. You got oh, to show painting. Okay. I'm like, I feel like afraid to smile and laugh. I'm going to want to mess this up. Is the up. side of your head numb? No, not at all. <laughs> My neck is numb. <laughs> your neck is numb. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Oh. Oh. That's all right. Oh. 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 So Where you going to go, Sarah? I know where you're going. You should go out of the town with this. Kids are going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see it. I gotta see it. Are you done? Oh, yes. Are we? Okay. See. Ooh. I'll model it facing you this like? way. <laughs> Zoom me. Can I move forward? Zoom me. I've got a mirror. Oh, oh my gosh. You that like? is so cute. I love it. Oh, if we have more time, you know, I could spend all yeah. day like doing details, but yeah. it's kind of just about being quick and being quick. efficient because kids do not have patience. <laughs> yeah. I get that though. We can do that. I was like, don't move the muscle. <laughs> that was beautiful. But we can end it off. We can end it off on this. I asked you, what picture would you paint mm. for your past? And I was like, hey, what picture would you paint for your future? But I want to tell you this: what picture I see, oh, okay, is the one that you painted on my face. Because mm-hmm. you're a flower, you bloom, you shine. You know, you you're different. You you got vibrant colors. You got you know creativity. And I feel like the picture that you painted right here is a reflection of the combination of your past life and probably your future. I'm know for sure your future. So. 
Thank you for coming on. We are more than just careers and Thank painting the so picture much, for Marcy. us. I'm so excited. Painting the picture for us. And figuratively. Yes. 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 So, can't did wait for more to come. I did. I did. Yeah, I love face yeah. You probably wouldn't tell us if you did, but that's okay. <laughs> I will. I'll take it. I'm so happy it's in my office. So oh, I'm perfect. Ready, you ready to go anytime. <laughs> I need a face paint. I'm coming to your desk. <laughs> All right, so well, we got to end off with Polly Dane. <laughs> 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 <laughs>